hello. Um, I just got my Samhain Sabbat box and I'm super excited to open it up. Um, first, before I do that, I want to say thank you so much to Sabbat box because uh, they chose my unboxing video for uh, the Maybon box as for the Super Sabbat give giveaway. And so I got my Samhain box for free, which is awesome. And so I just want to say thank you as just, I was so excited to hear the news and um, from it being my very first unboxing video ever, it was pretty awesome. So um, again, thank you so much. And for everyone else out there, um, if you're getting a Sabbath box or if you're signing up to get some coming up, um, definitely, you know, do unbox unboxing videos, take pictures and submit them because, I mean, it really is awesome when they get chosen. So, um, again, a huge thank you. So, um, without further ado, let's get this box open. I'm super excited to see what's in it. First impressions, um, I mean, so far, again, it's just the typical box. Um, it does say Handle With Care Fragile, which is something that hasn't been on the previous boxes. So it is kind of exciting to think of what it might be in there that could be fragile. Um, but I'm going to open up the box here. I'm so excited. Okay, so first thing, we do have a little bit of a different edition here. Um, it looks like it's a letter. And um, so I'm going to read it real quick. I'm not going to read it to you because that could be, that would that'd be boring. I'm going to read it and then I'll just tell you what it's about. So... Okay, so that's awesome, Sabbath Box. I mean, what that letter was was basically saying that their business is growing and they are going to be moving out of their um, home business and into a facility. And so, because um, they're making some changes and, I mean, they're just growing. They're getting to be a, a bigger business now. So um, I am sad that we will be missing out on a, a Yule Sabbath box. But, I mean, that is just awesome. Congratulations, guys. You, I mean, this has been such an awesome subscription box. It's the only subscription I've ever had. So I really, I really love it. And I think that this is going to be a great move forward for you guys. So... Okay, so let's see what else we've got here. So the theme for the Samhain Sabbath box is Witch's Sight, which is backwards, I know. You can't see it. But I love the graphics on the little brochure. I'm not going to open it yet because I don't want any spoilers for what's in this box. But... I love the picture, the graphic. It's really cool. These need to be turned into posters. Okay, so I'll show you the box here that we have. And, oh, this was in it too. I accidentally took it out. That's what you first see. And so we have a... 20% off discount for wellstonejewelry.com. And it looks like they've got some really beautiful pieces. Pendants, rings, whole bunch of stuff. So that would be really awesome. Then we have a B sum for Basum candles. That's 100% pure beeswax candles. Awesome. 
and then it looks like there's a coupon on the back pretty cool okay breaking the seal oh no and it really sucks doing it one-handed okay ready That's awesome. Okay, so first things first. What do we have here? We have black beeswax scrying candles. They're handcrafted by Basim Candles. So let's take open it up and take a look. Okay, so we've got two candles here. And you can, I mean, you can tell that they are handcrafted, hand dipped. And so that is really cool. I've never seen, I mean, all the candles I've ever seen really, they look like they're manufactured, machine made or whatever. So I love it when I get handcrafted things. It makes them more personal, which makes the... Um, energy that comes off of them for any magic work more powerful there's more energy especially once they are anointed with whatever purpose or whatever spell that's gonna be they're being used for so awesome okay and then looks like I've got a candle holder so let's open it up and take a look. It looks like it's a star. Awesome. Okay, yeah, so I got a candle holder here. It's really cool. It looks, I mean, it's well made. It's not just plastic. It's not, you know, something that's going to easily break. It's metal. So let's see what it looks like here with one of our candles in it. Oh, that looks nice. Awesome. Very cool. Okay. Then got something cool here. We got, ooh, hedge parting spray. Let's take a look. There's something in it. Okay. So yeah, we got um, hedge parting spray by Anjus. I hope I'm saying that right. I can, I never know if I'm saying that right. But um, it says, pierce the veil, explore the other world, ride the hedge, and travel the realms. There is something in there. So let's see. We've got ingredients, wormwood and mugwort infused with hazel, vinegar, and vodka with pure essential oils of nutmeg, sandalwood, and orange, and petrified wood. So, of course, it's a dark glass. But yeah, that's pe definitely petrified wood. So use. Mist with intention in sacred space on altar linens or eye pillow before hedge writing ritual. Or mist on scrying mirror or other divination tools and wipe with cloth to cleanse before rituals. Very cool. Okay, so that was Anju's head's um, parting spray. It's really cool. So next we have black tourmaline and that feels hefty. So let's take a look. Okay, so this is really cool. I, I mean, I wouldn't say it's bigger than any of the other crystals I've gotten in these boxes, but it's definitely a heavy one. I mean, it's definitely got more to it now. It did when I opened it it did break <laughs> so I mean black tourmaline is definitely a um, softer material so it is gonna be more prone to breaking it seems but um, I mean it's still cool I mean I don't it doesn't bother me that it broke cuz hey now I got two <laughs> um, <laughs> but that is really cool now We've got the little card here, and it's so I'll read it. It says, Black Tourmaline, and maybe I'm not saying that right. Right, Black Tourmaline is a type of silicate known as squirrel. 
that is mostly found in Africa and Brazil. Black tourmaline is considered a protective talisman that shields one from psychic attacks and disperses negative energy or entities, making it a perfect stone to use when working any kind of magic, especially divination. So I love these little cards because, I mean, it's just nice to have these. But, okay. So it's black tourmaline, which I now have little bits and pieces of it all over my bed. <laughs> but awesome. Very cool. And then, oh, what is this? Ooh, black bag. Mysterious. Okay, so this is something that I'm totally not going to be able to pronounce right, but I got a little jar here of Ungutum Sabati, which it's a, it's a modern witch's flying ointment. <laughs> um, it's the hand that parts the veil. It is a tool, a key to unlock the door between your mundane brain and your limitless consciousness to help you slip through to other planes of existence without the use of hallucinogens. It's got wormwood, wormwood, I cannot talk right, mugwort, vervain, anise, I'm not, I can't pronounce any of these, frankincense, and lavender. So it is used externally only by applying a dime size amount to the, your temples, the third eye, back of the neck, wrists, and soles of the feet, at least 30 minutes before meditation, ritual, divination, practices, or attempts to astral travel or lucid dream. Ingredients are coconut oil, beeswax, wormwood, mugwort, vervain, ashes from a ritual fire, essential oils of frankincense, anise, and lavender. Very cool. Let's open it up and smell it. Ooh. Very cool. I've never actually done, used anything kind of like this. I've never really tried to astral project or anything yet as um, I don't know how and I don't want to like try and then something go wrong um, or less, at least do it when I don't have any supervision, which I don't know if that needs to be something I need to be worried about. I'm still very new to all this, but this sounds very interesting and I something I definitely want to try sometime so okay looks like we've got one more thing in here and it sounds like this is what the fragile sticker was about it's in a very nice velvet bag and oh it's so soft very soft okay open it up here of course it's in bubble wrap so give me a minute okay so it looks like we have a scrying mirror it's all black glass and of course you got a place where you can hang it in the back you can set it up kind of like a picture frame very cool and it's not too big so, I mean, it's really nice. It's a nice little mirror. I love the velvet bag that it comes in, too. So, and then we've got a little card that talks about the art of scrying. So, um, divining from reflections on one side, and then how to use a scrying mirror on the back, which is very nice to have that, because... I've always wanted to try scrying. Um, I've got other forms of divination. I've got tarot cards, and then I have a pendulum that I got in another Sabbath box, and I want to say it was actually last Samhain um, that I got it. But um, I've enjoyed using both of those, and um, scrying. I have I've seen and read some stuff on scrying, and I've always thought it was it sounded interesting and I always wanted to try it so um, I'm glad now I don't have any excuses not to because <laughs> I've always made up made silly excuses you know oh, I don't have the right kind of mirror or 
Um, I know that you can do scrying with like reflection with what in water. Uh, I don't have the right kind of bowl, you know, or I don't have any moon water, or, you know, anything like that. Just different stuff where, you know, I feel like I have to have certain things to do the do these things right. So I make up excuses and um, now I can't do that because I have a perfect mirror to do to scry. So, um, but that's everything that's in this box and that's just awesome. So let's take a look at everything together and um, talk about what my favorite thing was. Okay, so that's everything that I got in the box um, for Samhain. We've got, um, remember we've got the Besom candles here. We've got the Unguntum Sabati ointment. We've got the scrying mirror. We've got the Andrews Hedge Parting Spray and the Black Tourmaline. I feel like I am forgetting something, but I can't think of what it is. I, everything's here. So, um, I definitely have to say that my favorite thing in this, my favorite item, would have to be the scrying mirror. I mean, I know it's the biggest thing that's in there, but, um... I'm just super excited to try and learn how to use it and um, perfect that craft. I mean, it, I think it's going to be so interesting and so eye-opening. I mean, like, I can hear my kid in there and he's excited too. He likes the scrying mirror. <laughs> He did come in earlier, though, and thought that the candle was very awesome. He loved the star-shaped candle holder and thought that that was really cool. So, um, other than the scrying mirror, I definitely have to say I am definitely excited for this Unguntum's Sabati ointment. Because, um, one thing, when I meditate, I do have a hard time really feeling enlightened or anything. I mean, I feel like all I'm doing is just, just, um, just sitting there. I really don't feel like I'm doing much. Um, I have a really hard time staying focused. Um, when my mind does wander, I have a hard time bringing my mind back. And, um, so unless it's a guided meditation, I really have a hard time. And then the guided meditation, I don't feel really serves the purpose of what meditation is about. Um, so I really, again, I want to say thank you, Sabbath Box One, for just providing this service. And again, congratulations on the growth. I mean, that is just phenomenal. Um, you guys deserve it all, all of it. Um, Real quick, let's give a shout out to some of the artisans that provided the items for this box. We have, of course, um, we have the Besom candles that provided the candles. And um, then Anjou for the, um, they provided not only the um, hedge parting spray. No, yeah, the um, hedge parting spray for scrying mirrors in sacred space. Then the cu custom hand painted frameless scrying mirror set. Um, looks like it was by uh, Blue Moon Broom Brush and ba ba Basum. So um, I did not realize that that was hand painted. That's really cool. It looks like it's just black glass. Um, then the black 10 star pentagram taper candle holder. That's actually from Azura Green. And then uh, the Black Tourmaline Crystal is from the Athletic Artisans, which if you haven't checked out their website, they've got a lot of awesome stuff. 
Um, I've bought a couple things off of their website before. And then the Unguntum Sabati ointment is from Alchemy and Ashes. Um, I definitely am going to have to check out that website. That looks, I mean, all of it's really super cool. So, um, uh, again, big thank you guys. And um, if there, if anyone is thinking about subscribing to this bot, this service, it definitely isn't a waste of money. I mean, they there's different levels, and from the sounds of the letter, they're going to be in 2019. They're going to be having more levels um, with different price ranges. So. I mean, I'm a single mother. Um, I don't have a lot of money. I really don't have the opportunity to buy a lot of my supplies for my magic work. A lot of the stuff I've actually had, um, the stuff I actually have that I to use is stuff that I've gotten out of these boxes. And it does, I mean, you do start out small, but then you start accumulating all this stuff and... I've been in it for just a little over a year now and I've already gotten an entire big plastic tub that I have all my stuff in. And I love to keep the boxes too because um, I like to organize my stuff so I have a box for all my ointments, all my candles, all my crystals, all my um, magic tools. Um, then, um, so I keep those boxes. But there's just, I've gotten so much cool stuff from these boxes. Um, and I definitely want to say, out of all the boxes I've gotten, my favorite was definitely this last Maybon box. Um, and then this box has been really cool too. So, a um, lot of great stuff. I definitely encourage anyone who's thinking about subscribing to subscribe. Because, I mean, this stuff is so cool. And you're supporting small businesses and because this stuff, most of this stuff is handmade, that or um, I mean, you get that just even better. You get it, your your magic workings are going to be more personable, more. Of course, you know you want to cleanse and um. I can't think of the word, but you know, inscribe your intention onto each all of your tools that you use that way that they work for you so um this is really awesome i'm going to stop babbling because this has become a really long video the more of an it's more than an unboxing video but again thank you sabbat box for all of this thank you to all of the um, small businesses that have put into this not just this box but all of them and um all the ones to come i'm super excited so Thank you. I hope everyone has a wonderful Samhain and the days leading up. And um, blessed be.